Ricky Fowler, in a May 2010 Golf Magazine article, indicated a couple of things in his swing that helped him generate some more power. The first of those was the shoulder turn in the backswing. The second was the initiation of the hips in the downswing, which allowed his hands and his arms to get in a good hitting position. That kind of ties into last month's posting of the transformation of the golf swing, and you can check that video with some exercises there to help that. The other factor that becomes involved with this, and if I can expand on Ricky's article and talk a little bit about the physical nature of both of those swing components, is the X factor, or the ability to disassociate your upper body from your lower body. And a good test that you can do is to get in front of a mirror, get into your golf stance, and just try to rotate your shoulders while keeping your hips nice and still. And then rotate your hips while keeping your shoulders nice and still. If you can do that, then chances are, physically, you're going to be able to get a good shoulder turn and you should be able to initiate that downswing with the hips. If you have trouble with that, with the X factor, then you need to work on some flexibility range of motion to be able to better disassociate upper from lower body. And here's a good stretch to do that. What you're going to do is lie down on the floor, place your feet flat and your knees up, place the knees together, hands down at your side. The first progression for this exercise is just to drop nice and easy the knees down to the same side while maintaining contact with the opposite shoulder of the floor. Hold for about 10 to 15 seconds and then swing the knees up and over to the opposite side. Feeling a nice gentle stretch in through the lower back area here. The second progression is to cross the legs over. Cross your right leg over the left and then whatever leg is on top, that's the side you're going to come down toward. So you're going to bring your knees down towards the right side when the right leg is on top. That's going to give you more of a stretch because this leg kind of acts as your assistant in pulling your knee down. So be careful when you do it the first time. Hold for about 10 to 15 seconds and then switch to the other side. Left leg on top, going down towards the left side. Keep your shoulder flat. The third progression to really get into the X factor is to cross your right leg over, bring your knees down to the right side, take your arms and go opposite your knees. And there's your X factor. Hold for about 10 to 15 seconds. Nice and easy, bring the knees back up. Left over right, come down to the left. Arms go opposite. All right. You may not have real good range of motion at first, but be patient with it, be consistent with it, and that'll help your X factor, and that'll help you get, get you to do what Ricky's trying to get you to do with a good shoulder turn and a good separation of the lower body into the downswing. That'll help your golf game.